I dwell in Christ, the secret place of the Most High, and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He covers me with His feathers and under His wings I take refuge. His truth shall be my shield and my buckler. I will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand may, uh, ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked, because I have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High, my dwelling place. No evil shall befall, nor will any plague come near my dwelling, for he will give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they shall not bear me up, lest I dash my foot against the stone. I will tread upon the lion and the copra, the young lion and the serpent. I will trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him with Long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I'll move on to the Lord's prayer for my moment. G'day, John Wilson, uh, Sunday the 18th. Uh, hi, how's everyone going? Um, this upload's going to cover um, a, uh, a, a, an event, a, a project uh, that took place today at the Gallipoli Army Barracks in Inogra, Brisbane. Um, for everyone's uh, information, just again, I'm just letting everyone know that today around about a hundred people, uh, mainly consisting from people from the Sunshine Coast uh, in uh, Queensland, and uh, they uh, they were a group of people, around about a hundred or so, um, and uh, they had a uh, a uh, gathering at the Gallipoli Army Barracks in Inogra, and uh, their theme was Unite in white okay there were other veterans that came along not from the sunshine coast some from the gold coast some uh, as far as uh, gimpy and even further north than that which is several hours drive so it's quite a quite a decent sort of a trek for them now uh, the purpose of what happened today was that uh, a, a letter um, was uh, handed over to the uh, the duty sergeant and a, uh, one of one of the uh, military police that we've asked to be passed on to the commanding officer, um, one of the the majors uh, tomorrow morning, which will be Monday when when uh, he's uh, on duty, and that letter uh, sets out. Uh, in detail. Now I'll publish this letter so you'll see the detail and read it for yourself but uh, the letter basically says that um, we have lost all faith, all faith uh, in uh, these uh, Australian institutions whether it's the Parliament, uh, whether it's the courts, whether it's the police and law law enforcement, whether it's uh, these uh, the security uh, agencies, ASIO, we have no confidence in any of them, none of them okay and uh, now uh, we have met and we are now asking and calling upon the Australian military to play a uh, interventionist uh, role to intervene uh, in our domestic affairs and to assist and, and, and to join with the Australian people to clean all of this rot up 
all of this uh, these attacks that have been going on uh, on Australians by uh, by uh, state law enforcement agencies, all of this uh, <coughs> um, outrageous uh, laws and uh, outrageous regulations, which are just suffocating our country and our countrymen, um, and and the many other acts of treason uh, and bastardry uh, that they have inflicted upon the Australian people. Um, uh, we, we've asked the Australian military to intervene and to help us get our country straightened out and to help get our sovereignty back, etc. Now that letter was handed over to the duty sergeant. He's now accepted it and that letter will uh, tomorrow morning go up to the uh, the major and uh, we, uh, we're expecting to get an answer. Now we'll more than likely let it go uh, until uh, shortly after Christmas and New Year and if we have not got an answer back uh, from the major uh, then we intend to go back to the Gallipoli barracks um, and to ask for a meeting uh, with the major and uh, to uh, to personally get a um, an answer on our on our demands and our log of claims now uh, we, we know we know uh, what's been going on with the Australian military. We know uh, how they've been utterly betrayed and, and that betrayal has come from, that betrayal has come from uh, in, in, many, in many instances uh, from very senior military brass. I mean, we note, we note that uh, um, the, the, the head of the Australian uh, Army has asked uh, for all service medals to be handed back uh, by uh, those in the special air services. Uh, we know this, right, uh, um, that uh, it's been claimed that they don't deserve this meritorial no uh, medals, etc. Uh, but you won't get Angus Campbell and these other grubs uh, to hand theirs back, okay? So, you know, we we're aware of what's being done to our military personnel. We're aware um, that uh, you know, they've been sent over these uh, you know, endless uh, bullshit wars and they're now lining us up uh, to be sent. They're lining our, our lads, our diggers up to go over to another one of them uh, in Ukraine. Okay, this is criminal. It's outrageous. And we wanted to know, we wanted to let the Australian military know that we're aware of what's being done to them and we wanted to let the Australian military know about what's being done to us. Okay? Now we're calling on the Australian military to intervene. Intervene. We are in grave danger with the way this country is going and by the utter betrayal of the Australian people and the and the people of Queensland, in particular my hometown. Now, uh, this was done today, uh, the group uh, Unite in White, uh, a beautiful a beautiful group of, uh, of people um, who have uh, gone right out of the way, travelled many hours to get down to Brisbane and to, and to make this, uh, this event happen. And um, uh, they're determined, uh, they want an answer back. They want an answer back to this letter. If they don't get one, uh, then, then we intend to return early in the new year and, uh, and demand to meet. Uh, with the commanding officer to get this answer. Okay, so um, I wanted to pass this on. I'll publish the uh, the letter of demand. The footage that you're going to see earlier uh, was uh, um, a, a a psalm. I think Psalm 91, which is universally recognised by uh, most uh, military um, around the world, and is said before battle. And uh, um, you know, I've been advised that that is the case. And that was the that was the the prayer that was read out at uh, our event uh, at the Gallipoli barracks and um, and uh, you know we also followed that up with the Lord's Prayer as well we're in a spiritual war here everybody we are in a spiritual war with satanic forces satanic forces and uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna have any hope of getting out of this then um, you know we, we need our diggers mate we need our military uh, with the full support of the Australian people to intervene and to help us uh, uh, regain our sovereignty uh, to help us uh, shield ourselves from these uh, uh, you know dangers that we've gone through we've lost a lot of a lot of Australians in this in the last three years they've been murdered 
in aged care, our elderly people, now they're after our young children and babies. We've got these Marxist bastards, infiltrators crawling all, after, all over us. Um, we can't vote them out. The electoral system is so badly uh, rotten, defrauded. Um, they've got uh, World Economic, uh, the Australian Electoral Commission's got World Economic Forum operatives in on the act. Up here in Queensland, we've got uh, communist Chinese uh, operatives which are uh, in on the act uh, who do all the vote tallying and uh, yeah, all of the electoral roll stuff. The, the software engineers that are being used in Wuhan in China uh, uh, the communist uh, software engineers are the ones writing the software code for our electoral uh, ele our, uh, state elections up here. So we can't vote them out. There is no chance they have stitched us up. They don't care what we think. They don't care what we say. Now we're calling on the Australian because we've got no other options here. Either we, either we have massive civil unrest where people are going to be killed, maimed, injured, and we don't want that. We just don't. We're doing everything we can to avoid anyone, anyone being hurt. None of us, none of us, me and all the others, none of us support violence and 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 you know any of this sort of stuff going uh, on. We we you know we we're just just ordinary people. We're mums and dads and grandmas and granddads. You know, we're, we're not, we're, we're not, uh, you know, terrorists and all this other, you know, extremists that we're being painted, you know, but we, we, we no longer have any confidence, any confidence at all in the institutions of Australia. They betrayed the lot of us, the lot of us. So the only thing left standing is the Australian people and the Australian military and the two, the two of us, the two of us have to now join forces and, uh, and, and, and find a way through all of this rotten and utter corruption and betrayal um, and, and find a way through it so that we can get our country back and, and uh, you know, we can, we can go back and live, you know, our lives in peace, okay? So to everyone out there, please share this, mate. Get it out and let everyone know out in Australia that uh, this is what's being done in Queensland. Um, you know, I love all of our activist friends uh, all around Australia, but, but I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. If, this is, if, if any state is going to crack this open, if any state is going to make headway, it's going to be here in Queensland, I can tell you. And, and uh, you can laugh at us all you like, all you, uh, you, know, all you uh, uh, left-wing Marxists out there. You can laugh and, and ridicule us Queenslanders all you like. We've been copying that all our lives. Rednecks, banana benders, dumbos, idiots. You know, we've copped all that stuff. We're, it's water off a duck's back to us up here, mate. We are impervious to your insults. Your slagging, your slandering, your defamations. We are impervious. It's going to happen in Queensland. And, uh, you know, uh, this is totally organic. It's not being led. There's no political party. There's no, no leaders or any of this sort of stuff. I, I went there in support of uh, people, local people that have you know, come down, local Queensland people who've come down and who, and who wanted to uh, pull this off. I didn't organise it, and, uh, but I was proud to stand behind them and beside them. So uh, everyone in Australia, um, I'll put further footage together as it comes in. This is just an intro. Um, you'll see uh, the psalm uh, that was read out today. Um, you know, you, you'll, you'll see a copy of the letter that was handed over. Uh, I'll publish that uh, and I'll hand that over to, uh, uh, to, to that. Sorry, that was handed over to the um, to the on duty uh, uh, sergeant, etc. So I'll, I'll publish all this and I'll, I'll also put further footage out. But I wanted to let everyone know what did occur today, and uh, it, it was a, it was a really great event. It was peaceful. There was no problems. Yes, the police did front up. They, they were fine. There was it wasn't any confrontation with the police. We have no confidence in the police. None whatsoever, mate. We, they've lost us. Their conduct over the last three years has been utterly disgraceful. Utterly disgraceful. Um, and, and, and we're not we're not pinning individuals with that. We're just simply saying the entire police force, you know, has no confidence. We, we, we've lost all confidence. We don't believe them and uh, uh, anything they say. We just don't believe them. But uh, they did front. They didn't have any. They didn't give us any grief, any problems, and we're thankful for that because we weren't there to give them any grief or them any problems. Okay. We just wanted to. Uh, 
undertake our project, make our point, hand over our, uh, our uh, letter, our official letter from the group and, uh, and uh, requesting that the Australian military intervenes uh, in this disgraceful um, and, and corrupted uh, state of affairs that uh, Australia now finds itself in because uh, as I said, um, what are, what are our, where else can we go? The courts are rotten to the core. They failed us. The, 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 the body politic, all of it, federal, local, state, all of it, utterly, utterly corrupted. And uh, they failed us. They betrayed us. Uh, the police service for law and order, they won't investigate any of this stuff. You can't get it. There is no law and order in Australia. There's none. The only thing that applies in Australia is big, buffy police officers with badges and guns. You got me. And, and, and what's really scaring all of us is that they have a huge drug problem. They've got a huge drug problem inside the Queensland Police Force, as indeed they have in other states as well. If you want to know why they've been so violent towards us and so psychopathic in their attitude towards us, you know, it's because most of them are tanked up and pumped up on these bloody chemical drugs. I mean, this is outrageous, ladies and gentlemen and my friends here. This is outrageous. We've got nowhere else to go. It's the Australian military. They've got to intervene. They have to intervene in partnership with the Australian people to get this shit, um, this criminality, this betrayal straightened out. Sunday, December 18th. This is John Wilson. Thank you very much. Please share this video.